What's up guys, it's Skill Up here. This is a long video and I know a lot of people don't like those. So I'm leaving this TLDR up on this screen here. You could have a read through it and it summarizes all of the points that I'll be covering throughout the duration of this video. I'll obviously just be explaining my rationale and all of the detail behind this stuff during the course of it. So stick around if you want that detail, but if you just want the headline points, there they are on the screen. Guys, hello and welcome. It's Skill Up here with another Division video. This week's state of the game saw a huge dump of news and perhaps the biggest announcement was that the meta-defining Centuries call was going to be nerfed. The community immediately exploded with a mix of relief and frustration in equal measure. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the good and the bad about this, making it really clear how it affects you and what you need to be doing going forward. As always, guys, I put plenty of thought and testing into this video. So if you like what you see and you find it useful then don't forget to drop a like and if you're new to the channel then be sure to hit that subscribe button for the best source of division theory crafting you will find anywhere on the intertubes. All right, so Centuries Call, let's take a quick look back and understand how it's working now. The four piece set bonus provides you and your party members an additional 15% bonus damage to any target that you headshot. And this buff can stack up to three times, meaning that you and your party actually get a total of 52% bonus damage to the target, since that increase is actually calculated multiplicatively, not additively. Otherwise, you would be getting your straight 45% increase. Now, you can apply these stacks with any weapon currently, meaning that you can bring an SMG to any encounter, shoot a target in the head three times in a split second, and immediately be dealing 52% bonus damage to that target. According to the developers, this was never the intention, and they've announced that in patch 1.2, they'll be fixing it. So now, if you want to get Centuries Call stacks on your target, you're going to need to use either a marksman rifle, a shotgun, or a pistol. This is obviously a really huge change, but to be honest, it's a good one. Centuries call was simply way, way too powerful in its current form, completely pushing out all other gear sets in both PvE and PvP context. So a change really did need to be made. What's frustrating, and as I've discussed in an earlier video, is that this set was not working as intended from the start, but Massive have only informed us about that now, and it would have been far better for them to have told us earlier. Many people have invested dozens of hours into grinding out a really well-rolled century set, and to see the goalposts shift so significantly now is is a problem. And make no mistake, the goalposts have shifted. I want to get into this now in terms of how much this will affect each playstyle and each weapon type, because where before, Century was simply the best choice in every situation, there is now a fair amount of variance with regards to whether or not Century is the best choice. So let's break it down in the form of the most common questions that I've been asked since the new nerf was announced. Is Century still the best set? So this is a really big question. I have to answer it in a few parts. Let's first talk about DPS and skill power builds in a PvE environment. Now, any of you that have watched my best in slot DPS guide for patch 1.1 or my tactician's authority build guide would have heard me say that the best possible setup for both DPS and skill power is the Centuries Call using electronic base stats. The Centuries Call bonus damage coupled with the skill power benefits provided by a well buffed smart cover and tactical pulse provide truly unmatched DPS in both solo and group play settings. I can tell you that in my opinion, this remains largely unchanged. Century's Call is still the best set when it comes to PvE content, since you're going to be able to use a marksman rifle to get your stacks on your target. You will, however, be more vulnerable to rushes like shotgunners, since you won't be able to mow them down with an SMG quickly by stacking on lots of Century's Call stacks fast. Unquestionably, this change will make managing shotgunners in incursions more difficult, so it will be interesting to see if Massive make changes to the damage dealt by these frustrating enemies. Now, just because Sentry's Call is the best doesn't mean that things haven't changed though. There are some very important variations to this that you must understand if you were to make the best possible decision for your playstyle. Now, let's look at two of these important decisions. Sentry's Call versus Tactician's Authority. 
Now, Century's call, while still being the best choice from a technical and theoretical perspective, is no longer the clear 100% standout obvious choice. My video covering Tactician's Authority praised the design of the set, but I ultimately concluded that it was a poor set to be using now because Century was just that much better. My conclusions here were very much about the comparative option rather than about Tactician's Authority itself being bad. This change to Century necessitated necessitates a far more precise playstyle, and the margin for error is much larger if you happen to miss your headshots. For that reason, the gap between Century's Call and Tactician's Authority is now much, much smaller. Century is still better on paper if you always play perfectly and you get your stacks with your marksman rifle, but Tactician's is actually a far better set to use if you are more interested in utilizing an assault rifle, SMG or LMG, and maintaining high efficiency for you and your group. So to summarize, if you're planning to use a marksman rifle and you are able to consistently hit headshots, then Century's Call is still better than Tactician's Authority. If, however, you're looking to use automatic weapons or you don't feel like you can land headshots consistently, then Tactician's Authority will likely be the better set for skill power bros. Centuries versus Strikers now this question gets asked a lot, is Striker's battle gear now better than Sentry's? Now the short answer to this is no, but let's break it down. The Striker's battle gear gives you a stacking bonus on your target that accrues every time that you shoot them and you lose stacks every time that you miss. Now this set has always been an excellent set to use in a well-coordinated group where you have someone else in your group who can reliably get Sentry's call stacks on the target that you can then leverage to do even more damage with an SMG or assault rifle. Now this really hasn't changed. The way that striker stacks builds up and, uh, and decay when you miss is actually way less efficient than Century's Call. So you're better off prioritizing Century's Call if you're playing solo, that's clear. In that sense, the Centuries versus Striker conclusion remains largely unchanged. Striker is only a good choice when you already have Century stacks on your target. Now, those of you hoping that Strikers may be more desirable in PvP are likely going to be disappointed, as Strikers requires a high degree of accuracy that is difficult to maintain in PvP settings, where people are dodging and rolling to avoid your fire. Yes, if you had to use one set in PvP, you might use Strikers, but you're actually far better off using a combination of different sets combined with a savage pair of gloves for maximum effectiveness. How will the Century nerf affect the weapon meta, automatic weapons? Now let's take a quick look at this change and how it will affect weapon choices. Firstly, let's get this out of the way. Everyone will continue to be using an SMG. Massive's ridiculous assertion that we are all using an SMG because they are easy to craft is just that. It's utterly ridiculous. We use SMGs because they provide the absolute maximum DPS output at the typical encounter distance. Since we are almost always using an SMG for you know up close encounters and we are using an M1A for targets at ranged or an assault rifle perhaps if we're PvPing. Of course, shotguns can be great to use if you're experienced and I know that there's a very loyal, loud and proud contingent out there that love their LMGs, but the fact of the matter is that SMGs are simply the most effective weapon to be using if your aim is to deal tons of damage due to their high rates of fire, exceptional stability and accuracy and the inbuilt crit chance. None of this will change with the Century nerf, so don't expect a change on this front. Shotguns. One of the more interesting byproducts of this change will be the inevitable increase in the use of shotguns in the PvP meta. Now, in PvE, shotguns are very inefficient as they cannot be used to effectively rush down targets since you are putting yourself out of cover. And if you are looking to shut down an incoming rusher while you're in cover, then the SMG is just way, way more efficient at doing that. In PvP, however, this is a very different story. A well-rolled shotgun in the right hands can be absolutely devastating, especially on unsuspecting players. It's simply one of the best ganking tools in the game and it just got better. So why did it get better? Well, before you could use an SMG with Century's Call to instantly stack three Century's Call stacks on your target. Super easy, right? Obviously now you can't do this, but you can instantly stack three stacks of Sentry's Call on your target with a shotgun blast because each individual pellet within a shotgun's blast actually counts as an individual bullet. You can, in effect, run up to an unsuspecting target, shoot them in the head with a shotgun to butter them up and then polish them off with body shots that are getting 52% increased damage. It's a really efficient way to take out an enemy quickly. Now, given that people are likely 
going to be rocking a shotgun now, or at least they're going to be a lot more likely to do so than they were in the past. I also expect to see that we'll see more assault rifles used in PvP. Before, people had their SMG as their automatic weapon of choice and would then rely on a marksman rifle to either engage from range or to shoot targets that were fleeing. If someone were to try using a shotgun in PvP, it's highly likely that they'd want the versatility and range provided by an assault rifle to complement the up-close and personal stopping power of a shotgun. Marksman Rifles I think one of the unfortunate things about this change is that it will further solidify the M1A meta. Yes, balanced will be nerfed, but the M1A is still a very respectable weapon thanks to its low recoil and high rate of fire. Given how important it will be to get sentry stacks on your target quickly, the M1A will be invaluable, even post the balance nerf. Those of you holding out hope that the M44 will come into the meta, given the balance nerf will, I think, be a little bit disappointed so long as sentries call is still around. Now, the M44 generally takes about a second to fire off each shot, and when you miss, you really feel it. So that really hurts your ability to get those sentries call stacks on. Now, I'm by no means saying that M44s are bad. Now, in fact, I actually love the M44. They are, without a question, my favorite weapon to use in this game. But from a raw efficiency perspective, the M1A will still be your go-to weapon in PvE context due to its fantastic versatility and its unmatched potential to quickly stack sentries on your target. Couldn't I just use a shotgun to get sentry stacks on a target and then switch back to an SMG? Sure, you could absolutely do that, but really you'd be hurting yourself. The downtime associated with such a move would give your opponent more than enough time to either reposition to their advantage or just blow them away. I've seen this theory proposed a lot in recent times and it just doesn't stack up. I really recommend not trying this. And that's it guys. I think this video has answered the majority of questions that I've received since the news was announced. But if you have further questions, then please be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer them. I'll also just make the point that this is absolutely my opinion. I am not like the authority on all of this. I am not the font of all knowledge. I've absolutely uh, made plenty of mistakes on this stuff in the past. So if you disagree with me, please let me know because I'd really welcome your feedback. And um, I've learned things from the comments many, many times before. So if you've got your own perspective, uh, on how this will change the meta, please let me know because I really appreciate that sort of feedback. Of course, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, then hitting that like button would be awesome as it is a huge help to me. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by hitting that subscribe button now. For now, guys, this is Skill Up signing off. Take good care of yourselves and see you in the dark zone. Bye-bye.